everybody. Uh, my name is Seth Dunn. I'm with In Motion Ministries and I'm in the middle of a five-part series of very short videos talking about leadership, um, specifically talking about the heart of the leader, um, the development of the leader themselves, and therefore the quality of leadership that they consequently deliver, right? Um, if I had to pick a favorite, which, you know, I hate to do that, but this would probably be my favorite one. Uh, and we're going to talk today about being rooted in love. Um, you know, in leadership, there's so many times, and I could give you examples after example, but for the sake of time, I won't. But you guys could take some time and, and think through this. But so many times, leadership is not coming from love. And I think most of the time, it probably is fair to say that's because there's leadership that's not rooted in love. Okay, so we've been um, working in Ephesians chapter 3, and today specifically, we're going to look at verse 17 um, in Ephesians 3 where it says, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Now, remember, um, these are not designed to be comprehensive teachings. These videos are very short and quick, uh, designed for you then to take some time to unpack it yourself. Um, so there's a lot of context before and after that verse um, that, that you could take and, and, and pull out. But, um, you know, if we're rooted and grounded in love, I want you to think about this for a minute. So much depth is happening here. <laughs> um, too often, I think it's so easy to just run right past what we're reading. So for verse 18 there, that was just so powerful to think. Um, we have strength because of the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth. See, we just run past all of that and to know the love of Christ. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm, I'm slowing down here a little bit because I'm just thinking it's so easy to get in a hurry and to run right past the depth of what he's saying, that we're rooted and grounded in his love. See, there's a confidence that comes in for the leader when he realizes I am who I am in Christ and my foundation is a foundation of love and not my love, but a foundation of God's love. So first and foremost, He loves you. <laughs> Secondly, that is your foundation, right? He sent Christ to firmly plant us on a foundation that is entirely based on love. It's one that can't be shaken, one that can't be shifted. And as a leader, I think it's important, particularly in times that are difficult, um, times that are challenging. And as a leader, we constantly face, not just the last couple of years of pandemic and stuff, but we constantly face challenges in leadership, things that can feel like shifting and so forth. But if our hearts are set in Him, then we're good, right? Verse 19, um, it goes on and says, And to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to all the fullness of God. Again, I think us spending hours individually meditating on and, and, and thinking through this is really valuable. So let me, give you, let me give you a real gem today, right? So get this, you ready? You must be rooted and grounded in love. <laughs> may not sound like a bombshell maybe because we've just basically said that but the reality is that New Testament grace moved us from the Old Testament law um, gosh the side thought is law is not bad law brings a lot of good things into our lives but it's not our foundation okay man we can we can spend a lot of time there first Corinthians chapter 3 would be a great place to go and just to, to chew on and unpack some of this of what does it mean to be rooted and grounded in love um, so it's easy to say that we're rooted and grounded in love but it's much more difficult to get that into our heart to where it's what we live from, right? So there's the work as a leader um, to not just know it, but experience truth. And right here in Ephesians 3, we've seen that we are rooted and grounded in love. That's our reality. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you're rooted and grounded in love? If you don't, it's simply a matter of doing the work to get there, right? Listen, you all are amazing. I know I've thrown a lot out here, haven't unpacked things thoroughly by any means. So take the time to chew on some of these things and just remember that you are rooted in love.